I'm in a traffic situation again, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to film a quick video. The topic I'd like to speak on today is offense. Okay, whenever we get offended, that is comes from the devil. Okay, now with social media and everyone looking way too much into everyone else's lives and like you know examining their photos and videos and trying to just analyze other people's lives we need to be very aware of offense because offense comes from the devil so whenever we're offended that's that's demonic because think about it what what kind of emotions do you experience when you're off offended like jealousy anger um you know revenge some people are revengeful when they're offended but there's so there's a, a term in psychology and it's called perceptual filter and it's basically everyone has their own perceptual filter based on nature and nurture right so their their experience how they grew up their genetic makeup and just everything in their environment it creates their perceptual filter so someone's perceptual filter is how you interpret situations okay that's a psych psychology term you can research it more because i learned about it like a really long time ago like 20 years ago but so you can research it more in depth if you'd like to learn about it about that but just know that offense is from the devil and that you shouldn't get offended because what's linked to it are the negative emotions that also come from the devil now again, I'm not speaker, speaking from a I'm holier than thou situation and that I never experienced the things I'm talking to you about. A lot of these things are my faults as well. Um, one, of my, one of my faults that is somewhat linked to offense, I don't know, I don't really try to look too much into other people's lives because I don't know, you should, I, my thinking is that you should save that energy for your own life and um yeah that's where your focus should be instead of you know over analyzing other people's whatever pictures or videos or whatever it may be so um sometimes offense can be a purification though because it could be like conviction could be hidden in it so be aware of that as well that if you're offended like ask yourself the question why am i offended you know and it could just be your misinterpretation of the situation or you could be convicting yourself on something and if you feel convicted convicted conviction is a purifying process if you're convicted if you feel convicted you're being purified okay that's that's what it is it's you're, you're bringing to knowledge you're bringing to a for, the forefront something you repressed okay so it's not a bad thing so one of my major again you can hear my bunny's outdoor playpen rattling in the back so just again think that chains are falling off of you right now okay chains of bondage that link are linked to like guilt depression condemnation all the things that come from the devil so the chains are falling off right now in this conversation in the name of jesus we decree and declare it these words in this video is going to be helpful to people it's going to help us grow and it's going to help us to change our perspective to a more godly perspective Hi, Lord. to a more godly perspective and not one that is linked to the devil okay because we remember we need to stand against him he's the enemy we need to fight against him we fight against him with knowledge more knowledge about god that's why the bible is important and more knowledge about how he maneuvers too so that we can you know counter him okay so one of my downfalls is um this I'll, I'll label it as a snowball effect so i tend to okay we're out of stop now so i can look at look at you guys um i tend to like when something bad happens i tend to snowball it like i'll start generalizing and then i'll get into this negative cycle and be like well this sucks so this and this must suck and then it just kind of snowballs and grows from there and that's like a major downfall that i have that's like something i need to change about myself because 
so this recently happened there was a situation like i'll just be, i'll just tell the story okay and if the guy comes across this video he does but um so i took my moped in to get fixed to fix something it was like the light i had to fix the light and um when i got the moped back it was like other things were wrong wrong with it that were more major than the light you know that were working just fine before i took it in right so i called the business and you know i give them credit they reacted really quick and the guy even offered to come and pick up my moped from where i was at so i was like okay that's kind of like a good business move you know um but still i expressed that i was kind of disappointed with their services and um so he picked up the moped and he's fixing it even right now but while i was trying to kickstart it it's kind of frustrating right so i went i watched a bunch of youtube videos on how to kickstart your moped you can even like jump start it by jumping on it so i was trying all these things like i almost like injured my knee kicking the kickstart so many times right but it wouldn't start so i was a bit frustrated you know so because i was frustrated and angry remember those emotions come from the devil but because i was i felt like that it kind of snowballed and i started just like thinking all these negative things and then i started generalizing and it started spilling over into other people and other situations and and then i was like wait a minute this is exactly i'm falling into the devil's plan right now he has his feet up on the desk and he's like i don't have to do any work look at her she's getting herself all wound up and, and moving herself farther away from god by all of her negative thoughts and you know snowballing so then once I made that discovery, like, wait, this is what the devil wants. So he wants me to be upset and frustrated. Then I'm not going to be. I'm going to do the exact opposite. So then I thought, what thing would make me the happiest right now? So you're going to see these work trucks driving by because um, that's why I can look at you guys and film this because we're at a complete stop. But... um. So I was like, I was like, this is what the devil wants. The devil wants me to be upset right now. So I'm going to do the exact opposite and not be upset. So then I thought, what is the, the thing that would make me happiest right now? And then I did that. So I got ready for the guy to pick up my moped. And then I also prepared to do the thing that made me the happiest. Okay, because what did I do? I stood against the devil. I realized I was falling into his plan. I was like thinking all these negative thoughts. Like, I didn't say it out loud, but in my mind, I was like thinking negative things that would the snowballing effect. I stopped myself. And then I did the thing that made me the happiest after. And I actually felt good after you know it didn't ruin my whole day like that one situation didn't ruin my whole day so when you let like bad things that happen to you ruin your whole day that's the devil's plan remember we have to fight against him we have to fight against the devil okay he's the enemy we have to stand against him so don't get offended my mom's like really good about this like whenever i used to tell her about my guy problems i'd be like yeah but this and this and this and this and she would always say her reaction would always be so what like so they do that so what like what's the big deal so what and that's actually the best way and to think about situations because i mean offense is again attack on our minds and that we're getting ourselves all worked up over something that we could just be misinterpreting okay so know that the, the devil works through offense and don't get offended you know right now in social media everyone calls it triggered like that's the term i hear a lot like triggered they're triggered by it like but it's offense don't get offended as much as possible i don't let people get me offended like only when I'm in a relationship for some reason that happens to be a problem but um I try not to let people offend me you know even if they're intentionally trying to do it whether they're intentionally trying to do it or not don't let the devil win that's what he wants just try to 
you choose your emotions stay in alignment with God and staying in alignment with God is being happy choosing happiness you know definitely not you're keeping your peace basically keep your peace that's where the power is is in a state of peace when you're angry you're letting someone else control you or a situation control you you're in control God is in control ultimately and what does God and Jesus give to everyone as a gift? Peace. Jesus constantly says that in the Bible. Peace be unto you. Peace I give to you. Peace be with you. Okay, that's what Jesus said numerous times in the Bible. So keep your peace. Don't get offended. And absolutely don't snowball in upsetting situations. Okay? God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit love you. The bunnies and I love you too. See you in the next video.